Hello, and welcome to The Yesterday Show, with your host, Thomas Wales. Now, when I say the word crooner, you may think of Frank Sinatra, Dean Martin, or Sammy Davis Jr. But one of the most prolific crooners of our age is croaking Chris Armstrong. He's most famous for his 1950s hit, Let Me Touch Your Toes, and I'm very glad to say he's with us today. Hello, croaking Chris Armstrong. Good evening. Now, I understand that you have been on tour for quite a while. This will be my um, 20th consecutive year of touring. 20 years? Yes, 20 years non-stop except for Christmas. And uh, may I say you are at a a very respectable age to be touring for as long as you do. Yes. Why do you continue to do this? I don't have a choice, you see. In my heyday, I was one of the most well-loved and successful crooners of my age, and I look forward to a long and happy and rich retirement. But uh, on the day that I turned 60, my pension fell through, and so, with no money to my name, I was forced, <laughs> forced to carry on touring just to pay the bills. I'm very sorry to hear that. I don't need your sympathy, I just need money. Throughout your long and established career, you must have met many famous faces. Yes, otherwise I guess I wouldn't be doing the show. Who have you met that has inspired you the most? Well, um, one of my proudest moments uh, was when I was uh, only about 24, maybe 25. I had the privilege of performing for uh, Joseph Stalin, I think it was. Uh, I was uh, performing in Red Square, and uh, I got to meet him afterwards, and he was... uh, he was a wonderful man, so compassionate, so caring, and so, so wonderfully funny. How were you able to get into Russia during the Cold War? Well, I travelled by bicycle. I mean, uh, it was very easy. I uh, didn't have any problem meeting the great, this uh, wonderful man. I, a lot of uh, bad stuff is said about him, I suppose, but uh, to me, he was just a wonderful chap. So, uh, was it a good gig? Oh, one of the best I've had. A fantastic audience, though. Everyone applauding at the same time, just when you expected it. It was, it was very encouraging for a young chap like me to have a big break like that. Well, that's fascinating. But in the, in the 21st century, what kind of music still fascinates you? Well, I wouldn't say fascinates. I was never a compulsive music collector. But I have grown to love the music of uh, Notorious B.I.G. Not so keen on Tupac, he's a bit um, light-hearted for my tastes, but I can get a kick out of most of that stuff when I'm in the mood. Can't we all? Well, uh, I uh, I went off Tupac recently when uh, there was that um, posthumous duet with Elton John in it. The presence of Elton just defaced his memory. I don't know what prompted them to put that out. And are you planning to re-release any of your albums? Uh, Not immediately, but there is something new in the pipeline. I have, uh, in the process of trying to arrange a duet with uh, Jamelia. I am a very big fan of her music. I uh, think she's a wonderful lady, very pretty, and I think that collaboration would go down well with my fan base. And I understand that you are willing to treat the listeners with uh, one of your songs. Yes, that's right, that's right. So what are you going to perform today? It's a cover, I'm afraid, but it's a song of, uh, by someone I admire called Elvis Presley. It's called, uh, You Were Always On My Mind. Okay, so this is Croaking Chris Armstrong with You Are Always On My Mind. Maybe I didn't treat you. Quite as good as I should have And maybe I didn't love you 
quite as often as I should have. And I don't think it's said or done. I just never took the time. You always on my mind. Thanks for that, <laughs> croaking Chris Armstrong. And I'm sure listeners will want to hear a lot more of that. So, Chris is on tour till the end of the year, and his next gig is at Scarborough Pier. Okay, many thanks for that, and here's to another six years of performing. And now for an exclusive special report, we go over live to an international correspondent, Alex, who is in the New York Stock Exchange. Alex. Hi, Tom. I'm here at the New York Stock Exchange, where Mr. Dow Jones is currently standing at 8816. That's two fat ladies, 88, and 16, the number of bookies who want to break my legs. And it's been a ferocious day of trading, with lots of people shouting at screens and waving telephones. They must have brought, bought lots of things. If I had lots of money, I'd probably buy a pair of trainers. How have shares fared today? Well, now I've heard that shares in, um, like, this bank, but I'm not quite sure which, um, they've, like, rallied and gone up. No, 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 down, down, I think. No, no, let me get back to you in a while. Right. Uh, what is the feeling on the trading floor today? Well, I must say, I've had a lot of fun here today. It's really quite exciting. I, I honestly can't remember the last time I had this much fun, actually. No, no, no. no. Uh, what about the traders? Oh, well, I, I think they're having fun, too, yeah. Um, they're throwing their paper about, and I, I think they're dancing a bit. Uh, hold on a second. Uh, I think you can hear someone ordering beer behind you. Have the brewers had a good day? Yeah, a very good day, Tom. I'm standing here with a decent pint, and everyone's celebrating and happy. Well... That's the end of the trading bell. Uh, trading isn't over for another four hours, Alex. And they're all going for lunch or something. You're in a pub, aren't you? No, 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 no. Um, yeah. No, no, no. Uh, maybe. You're not in New York at all? Yes, I am. Eee! What do you get to get a taxi round here? Which way to the Empire State Building? See, I'm, I'm definitely in New York. You can hear all those voices. They're from New York. You're not, are you? Uh, no. You're in a pub in Leamington, aren't you? Uh, yes. You're an ass. That was Alex, who was our international correspondent. I'm afraid that's all we've got time for this week. But join us again next week for more guests and more international news. But for now... Back to mumbling on. <laughs>